we go right into central Boston, uh, we're talking about an area called Boylston Street, very well-known street uh, in the heart of Boston. That uh, building there, Martin, is the public library. Um, right uh, in the heart, just by uh, the finish line itself. Now let's come back further out uh, and we'll give you an indication of where this third explosion, which really just happened within about the last 40 minutes, took place. That was at the JFK Library, which is at Columbia Point Peninsula. Now that is about uh, five miles away uh, in the Dorchester neighbourhood there, five miles away from the scene of the first two explosions in Boylston Street. Now, if we can go back into Boylston Street itself, we'll give you an indication. Just by the finish line there, Martin, is the, uh, the scene of the first explosion. Uh, it took place just about 3 p.m. local time, just as uh, a number of the runners were still crossing that finish line. The second explosion happened, uh, I think about 100 metres, I think we're talking about there, further down the street, again on the north side of Boylston Street, just by uh, that building there, yeah. um, just outside that building. And it's worth now, saying this is the route the runners are taking, yeah, they? so they're the, heading up the street. The runners there. were heading there towards the finish line, and essentially what you had uh, was runners who were caught up, as we saw from those very harrowing images, uh, in the explosion on the finish line, uh, and others who were approaching it. Now, instinctively, of course, many of those runners turned back uh, mm -hmm. towards uh, the, uh, away from the explosion, and they were caught uh, right in the, uh, the blast zone for that second explosion. 